G'day guys, this video is on upgrading a two-way light switch. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of it. Now the first thing I've done is isolated the power to the switch so it does nothing and we test that by using a volt stick. Turn it on. No power on it. Also test the cables behind the light switch when we pull it off with the volt stick before we touch them. Now when this volt stick works, it looks like this. And you can just simulate that by rubbing it on any material. Right, first thing we do, rip it off the wall. And expose the cables. Right, this is an old two-way switch. As you can see, they've used the green and black wires as active cables. So what we'll be doing is we'll put a bit of red sleeving over these just to identify them for in the future. Now yeah, turn my volt stick on. They're all dead. Alright, next thing you want to do is undo these terminals and pull the cables out. You don't have to note what they're in, just as long as you know what one's in the centre, which is the common. So in the C terminal, common terminal is the red cable. If you have multiple cables at one of these, you may want to note it down. So I'll just remember off the top of my head, green in one, red in common, black in two. So the next thing we do, get a piece of heat shrink that's an active colour, so red is ideal for this. And we'll cut it to size over the cable cores. And then with the second one we can just measure off the first one and snip it. So now with this heat shrink, we'll slide it over the cables. Next part, you'll want to mount these down. So you want either a heat gun or gas torch. I'll just be using my gas torch for this. And just carefully heat them down. Careful not to burn the wallpaper or any material that's behind the fitting. Always face the flame, obviously away from you and away from anything nearby. Next thing, Grab your new light switch, rip it open, smash those screws off the back. Right, so on the back here, we've got our common, our one, and usually the two for the two ways will be covered in plastic. So undo that terminal screw a wee bit. Poke a screwdriver in there and burr that plastic out. Just like that. Next part, throw these cables in. So black was in two. Make sure the cable clamps down onto the copper, not onto the insulation of the cable. And screw her up. Don't over tighten it, this is one mil cable here. So it does have a tendency to snap. Give it the pull test, make sure it's not going to pull out of the fitting. And then move on to the next one. Red in common. Pull test, and green in one. All done. So in the end, it'll look pretty much like that. Next thing, whack it back on the wall, grab the terminal screws, and drive them in there. If using an impact driver, don't drive it up all the way, leave it loose so you can still manoeuvre it round. Throw a level on it. Level it up. 
and tighten her up. Throw the plate on it and you're good to go. Go liven her up and test that it works. Cheers for watching.